Hello everyone, in this video we're going to go over inheritance with C Sharp. So let's go ahead and jump in. In the last few videos we've been talking about classes and we've been seeing this picture a lot. Um, but let's say, let's take out these the words class and object here. And let's say we wanted these to be classes as well, like this van. We want a van class, an Audi class, a sports car class. Um, the commonality between all of them is that they're all cars. So they could inherit all of the properties of a basic car. All of them have wheels. All of these have a body type. All of them have a top speed. All of them have a number of seats. Um, so it, would, it wouldn't make sense if we made all three classes and we uh, repeated a lot of code. So that's where inheritance comes in. So let's take a look. I'll show you what I mean. So we have right here just our program. And we can say class. Um, we'll start with um, car right here. All right, and then we will do class van. Um, and then actually we'll do uh, vehicle, all right, class van, and then we can do class car down here. Okay, so this van and this car are both vehicles. So, um, in this vehicle class, if we had something like uh, a Boolean has wheels equals true, bool or int actually string make, and then string, oops string model. All right, got a lowercase set. All right, model. Okay. So a van is of course a vehicle, so and it has all of these attributes as well. So it would make sense if it were to inherit all of these attributes. Now a van uh, might have something a little different like um, we can say int number of rows in, uh, let's see, number of rows for seats, um, and let's see, uh, let's do that one. Van has number of rows of seats, and actually, we'll do one more has um, can stand up inside. Okay. And then a car, just a regular car. Um, let's see. We'll do something a little bit more like int or we'll do bool. Um, has only, oops, only four seats uh, and more, but we're going to leave it right now. Um, this way we can at least see um, the difference behind all of this. This is a, uh, this obviously is not production code, but um, in order to grasp the concept of inheritance, I figured we could make this as simple as possible um, just to understand this. So a van is a vehicle and a car is a vehicle as well. So when we go here to make um, our objects, for instance, let's make one for vehicle. Oops, and then we can make one for van. And 
and then we can make one for a car. Okay, so let's take a look at vehicle. So when we take a look at, whoops, of course all of these need to be public so we can actually access them. So let's go ahead and, whoops, add those. All right, now that we can actually access them, let's take a look at what we have. All right, so we only have has wheels, make, and model. And that's all we get from this. So what if we did van? All right, has wheels, make, model, and number of rows for seats. And can we stand up inside? Yes, we can. Or I guess we'd figure that out. But we have that property or this, this available to us, this field available to us. Um, and then let's take a look at car. All right, has wheels, make, model, and has only four seats. So this is how inheritance essentially works, is we have access to, as long as these inherit from this class, everything that you would normally have access to in this class, you would have access to in this class and more. So it's very helpful for organizing your code and making sure you don't actually duplicate work. Because if we had 20 or 30 different vehicle types, um, it, we could definitely have a lot of redundancy if we didn't make um, one specific vehicle class and have, the and have the vehicle types inherit from the vehicle. So I hope you guys enjoyed this lesson. This was um, a very basic uh, lesson in inheritance. We're going to see also how it is applied uh, with access modifiers next. So I look forward to seeing you guys in that one.